Hi, Andrew here. Remember that Caddy Level 3A Plus plate that we tested with some pistol threats that normally punch holes in 3A? I don't think that was unfair enough. So let's add another layer of difficulty. We're going to shoot it again with that same Underwood 9mm Plus P Extreme Defender ammo, but we're going to shoot it out of that CMMG 9mm guard carbine. And we're also going to shoot it with 357 Magnum Fiocchi 125 grain XTP from a 16 inch carbine. Let's see how it does. Seventeen oh three. Sixteen eighty six. There's the impact. There's the other one. First shot, second shot. Nothing out the back. Again, dense, but no perforations. Okay, so that was very unfair. <laughs> the velocities were well in excess of what you would expect level 3A to stop, and they would certainly perforate any soft 3A. And again, all the rounds were contained, all the rounds were stopped, there was very little back face deformation, and no fragmentation escaped the plate. Virtually perfect performance, and it's certainly living up to its title of being 3A+. Uh, remember that 3A+, is of course not an NIJ rating, and Caddy didn't really tell me what they expect it to stop, other than indicating that it does stop more than 3A threats. The thing to really take note of here is the fact that there's virtually no back face deformation. That's, aside from, yes, it's impressive that it stops other threats, but I don't want to get too wrapped around the axle on that. The place where it really exceeds NIJ level 3A standards is in the fact that NIJ allows for 44 millimeters of back face deformation to still pass, and this has virtually no back face deformation, even while it is stopping rounds that would normally get through a level 3A soft armor panel. If you have any questions about how I'm doing things, if you want to tell me about how steel is for peasants, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also check out the link in the description that heads back to the ammo forum where you can tell us some of the things you'd like to see us test next. As always, of course, like and share and subscribe. All of that stuff helps out our channel tremendously. And if you're not already subscribed to be notified every time we post a video, click the little bell icon next to subscribe or unsubscribe and check the box to be notified every time we post a video because we're posting videos like these twice a week. As always, have a great day.